Hello YouTube, it is Toy Adventures here again with yet another review. Man, we went from no reviews to like a ton of reviews and that's the beauty of a mass release and I am loving it. And today we have an extra special review. Mattel seems to be killing it now with her legacy line and they have finally touched my favorite movie in the series. Today we will be taking a look at the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Isla Sorna Capture Packs. Now this is an extra special uh, set, especially to me, because the Lost World, as some of you more hardcore fans may know, is my favorite in the Jurassic uh, Legacy. So seeing it being finally touched with not only characters, dinosaurs, but also the vehicles, one of the most iconic parts of the Lost World, aside from the dinosaurs, obviously, is something extremely special and something I hope with all my heart that they continue and pursue and do more vehicles. Like, of course, we all want the Mobile Command Center. We want the Humvee. Those are probably our two biggest wants other than the, you know, the Mercedes from the Lost World. So I really, really hope Mattel has the balls to just make the Mobile Command Center because it will sell not only by, you know, toy collectors, but by obviously Jurassic fans. So I think that'll sell pretty good if that's what they're worried about. But anyway, getting off on a sidetrack. Uh, here we have the Isa Sorta Capture Pack. This is based off of Roland Tembo, uh, the Paris Rolophus, AKA Elvis, and uh, one of the engine capture vehicles. So this is actually, I think, is it? Yeah, no, I think we have gotten an engine vehicle before this. I believe the, um, that RC car was also an engine vehicle, but this one is directly referenced from the movie. And while not perfect, we'll get into that. It is a still a awesome and very faithful representation of the vehicle seen in the movie. So taking a look here at the packaging, this is probably one of my favorite things about this packaging because not only is it beautiful, but it is scene specific. And that makes this just extra special. It's not just some generic packaging. This is the game trail scene. You can see the beautiful woods of Isla Sorna in the background, the game trail itself down here. And yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. And it, and it really captures the, the feeling of that scene of just the wildness of all the dinosaurs running and all the vehicles going and trying to catch them. Oh, it's one of the greatest scenes in the movie. And this box recreates it beautifully. So also we have little blurbs showing you what this vehicle can do. Uh, I'm trying to get that out of the uh, glare. So really cool to see. And uh, yeah, it just says scan to unlock. I still do not know what the app is on this one. So, you know, someone's gonna have to tell me down in the comments because I really am not big into apps being linked with toys. Anyway, taking a look here at the back, here we have a more generic looking uh, legacy packaging with the dark blue um, dusk look with the orange. And uh, it says Roland Tembo. We finally have our first Lost World figure and what a based option to pick. The coolest character in the movie. Uh, it shows that the, the, the door does slide out like the vehicle in the movie and you get the little Parasaurolophus. Now, I don't know why they made it a mini Parasaurolophus because the one in the movie was most certainly fully grown, but I'm sure it was just because, you know, they needed a pack of dinosaur and they didn't want to make this cost too much. So I understand. And uh, it also shows what else is in the wave? You know, the new, another damn raptor, uh, a new uh, tricep, tri triceratops, and another release of their terrible Pachycephalosaurus. I will not be reviewing this one ever because I just can't bring myself to buy it. Now, once Amber Collection touches it, that'll be a different story, but I cannot, I mean, not Amber Collection, Hammond Collection. I cannot wait for Hammond Collection to make a Pachy that isn't terrible. So, that aside, that's pretty much it for the box. Let's get this thing opened up. And here we have everything out of the box. Pretty cool set we got here. And let's take a look first at our main character, Roland Tembo. So it is quite amazing to finally have a actual uh, accurate movie figure of this guy. As you know, so far, all we've had is that um, kind of odd looking Kenner one. So to have an actually accurate movie one is again, very special. So, uh, should I get it in focus? So he looks really good for how he did in the movie, looking just like Pete passed away. Um, rest in peace, by the way. And uh, they got him in that scene with his jacket on. Now, sadly, we don't have his 500 Nitro Express. 
I don't know why Mattel clearly has shown that they're not afraid to make guns in the line. I don't know why they haven't included his rifle, but who knows, maybe we might get like a single carded release that does in fact include the weapon. But as for him himself, uh, he looks great, although uh, there's a flying flying around. However, the issue is uh, his standing is really subpar. I mean, it stands good there. <laughs> I'll try to show you guys, but like even you can get him into the basic standing pose. But the way his feet are shaped, it kind of like pushes him back. So standing him isn't the easiest. And while standing is, is, is a little hard for, for bipedal uh, human action figures already, this one is extra hard, as you can see. You have to kind of make him lean a little forward to get that standing going. But other than that, it is a standard Mattel figure, a really soft material for his jacket here, and uh, the standard affair for Mattel articulation. I don't really think I need to go into it. You guys pretty much know the par for course now. Uh, good articulation, not great but certainly serviceable. So he looks great. I really like him. A great first introduction to the Lost World, and I really hope they make more sets based off of it. So there is our amazing Roland Tumbo. Super happy about that. Let's take a look at Elvis now. So Elvis is probably the most disappointing thing about the entire set, mainly because it's just such a, there he goes again, just such a basic figure. There's really nothing going on here. This is quite literally the definition of just a cheap add-in. There's nothing going on here in the neck. You really just have a, a simple head joint that can rotate and move up and down. And then you, of course, have like the articulation at the uh, the thigh. This is what I would call like a subpar attack pack at best. Your articulation is just barely enough there to like, you can move the dinosaur from its basic pose, but you're not gonna get too much out of this. This is just, a pack in to make the you know the set feel a little bit more complete because it's got to come with a dinosaur right anyway here's its little uh gimmick it's a little bit uh, it's a little better hit on this guy but the the color matching for the for the cover is quite bad like not even close so yeah not the greatest paris office we've gotten certainly not after that amazing hammond collection one but you know it's it makes a good baby paris office figure and i think that's what a lot of people are going to use it as so it does have a niche <laughs> now onto the main look at this now i'll go ahead and flash a picture of what this vehicle should look like from the movie And here how, is how Mattel has recreated it. And I think they did a pretty good job. Now we've seen from their Nedry figure that they're not afraid to change the designs of the vehicles up a little bit. And while that is aggravating for us who want it to be the way we saw it, compared to Kenner and what they did to our vehicles, it is a very small sin. And we loved those. We held those in the highest regards. The Mobile Command Center, the Net Trapper, the Humvee, we love those toys, but they look nothing like they did in the movie. So I really don't see why people have to like bash bash them. Now I can see with the Jeep because it's missing a stripe, an iconic stripe that makes it look different. And that really bugged me. But with this one, this vehicle is not quite as iconic. Um, you really have to be a JP nerd to know about any of the engine vehicles from the Lost World. So the design here still fits with it. You actually get more paint than what was in it. Originally, the whole vehicle, as you saw, was just brown and it had other things on it. So, I do see why people are upset, but at the same time, it's better than what we had before. Miles better, you know? So, I'm not too bothered about this stripe right here. I actually think it makes the car look a little bit more interesting than it would be possibly just default. Now, it doesn't look quite as official, but it's okay. It's a small sin to me. I don't understand why they made it that way, but they did. So, you know, there's no point in complaining about it. So anyway, onto the vehicle's gimmicks itself. Aside from, you know, just being a good standard vehicle that can hold up to four figures, you have one in the driver's seat, one in the passenger, and two in the back. So, <laughs> there's like a gnat flying around. It's really bothering me. You see that gnat? That's what happens when you bother me during a review. Murdering small bugs aside, anyway, taking a look at this thing's action gimmicks. 
So, of course, we all know the coolest action gimmick of them all. The seat just launches out from the side. And, uh, you know, just like in the movie now, it doesn't have the snare thing it's supposed to have. But what you do have is this really cool little computer display piece that shows a bunch of tracking information and whatnot. Looking awesome. Uh, it is a little specific because it is specifically a para right there. You can kind of see that. There you go. You can see the little para in there. So it is specifically tracking the para, but that's such a small detail. You really need to know about that. And obviously we have the new rocket shooting gimmick. I guess these are we're going to do it what Kenner did and just call these trank darts. So you have Elvis there, and yeah. Ah, oh, we got him, and that's it's been lost. Anyway, here in the back, you do have storage for two more missiles, so you can store all the missiles on the vehicle at once, and nothing gets lost. Very cool, very cool. And uh, taking a look at the vehicle itself, it has this amazingly nice OD olive green going throughout the entire vehicle. Uh, this is very engine, very militaristic, and that's what I always loved about these vehicles. Uh, you have a nice big engine logo right here on the hood of the vehicle and on the two sides. This is the kind of design philosophy I follow for my customs. I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of my customs in the movies where I put a big logo on the on the hood and two on the sides of the front. And, you know, that's all really you need. So if anyone wanted to know where I got my inspiration, it's all the vehicles in the Lost World. So to have an official one that's not custom is pretty interesting to see how Mattel handles just the engine vehicles. So I really like this. This just looks so cool. I can imagine kids having a blast with this. This just has a very fun jungle explorer type of feel. So this is probably my favorite looking vehicle from the from the uh, line. Of course, we all love the, the Ford Explorer, but the Ford Explorer goes on a track and doesn't actually explore. This does. So this is probably the most exciting vehicle just because it's from the movies, something we know, and it just looks like something that would be tearing through the jungle. So I love this vehicle to death. And uh, reels, reels roll fine. You know, it, it's aside from being a cool Jurassic Park vehicle, this is just a good vehicle toy. And I really hope Mattel continues the vehicle line because it's possibly the most special thing they can do because not many toy lines are really investing in vehicles. That's what really makes this one stand out. I mean, obviously for the Batman, you have the Batmobile, but like, what else? Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say about this set. Let's go ahead and get on into our final comparisons. We're going to compare it, of course, with the other pairs in the line. I mean, we don't really need to compare the human. It's a human. We know how big the Mattel humans are. So let's compare it to Kenner's Elvis. And uh, this is how big it should be. In fact, actually, in the movie, it was even bigger. So, I mean, that scene was always crazy to me. The, the humans were like this big compared to it. Wild. The scale in the Lost World fluctuates a lot, so. Uh, but this is how big it should be overall, so that's cool. And uh, kind of nice to see those together. The really oddly colored dual attack, Parasaurolophus. Not quite as exciting, but still good. And then, of course, we gotta do it, right? We gotta do it. Uh, yes, now this. This looks extra special, guys. There's another gnat in my face. He didn't learn his lane. Double kill. Anyway, again, murdering small bugs aside, this just has an amazing look to it. Like this is hitting something deep within me. A deep childhood excitement. Just seeing these colors together, these ve this vehicle and this animal together. This is the Lost World incarnate right here. This is the game trail scene. I love this. These go together like jelly and peanut butter. I'm in love, and that's really all I have to say. This is an amazing set, and if you're a Lost World fan, if you're just a Jurassic Park fan, if you like dinosaurs, if you like anything regarding this, you will enjoy this set just to have a cool vehicle to go with the dinosaurs. So, that is all I had to say on this set. It's an amazing set, and I highly recommend, and I highly, highly hope Mattel pursues this even further and brings us more vehicles from the lost world. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for our next review. I just got news in right now that we have the Hammond Collection Baryonyx. And so that will be the next review. And it will also be up today because I have to use it in the movie tomorrow. 
So stay tuned, guys. We got some cool things coming. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Toy Adventures. Signing out. Peace.